Hey yo together and very welcome to the Stuff of Two Crazy Replays today again on Coda LED Edition with another TVC and yep for the next uh, nine recordings I have to always set the settings again because uh, he doesn't save it yep with the replay because it's an older version of StarCraft 2 I don't know what Blizzard is uh, doing there or how they are I don't know what they're programming, but it kind of sucks for me, to be honest, so, nah. But yeah, that's, that's how it is. So, here we are, Coda Letter Edition, with another TVC, should be awesome, I guess. And, yep, that's exactly what we are going to see here. Some nice games. Okay. I wonder what's the difference between those mineral patches. Because they... Yeah, okay, they look different, but... Uh, whatsoever. Mineral patches are structures. As well as the Xanaro Watchtower and the Vespin Gazer. Gazer. Whatever. Oh, I did not... Did I do the introduction? I'm not sure. Uh, I just do it now. We have... One left top position, it's the blue circle, the Garitos. Oh man, <laughs> I'm so bad. And he's playing against me, the red turret spawn in the right bottom position, Alex Sasha. Woo! I guess that was missing. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we have Rex and Gas, probably very standard, and the hatchery as well can produce right here. This drone will produce a lot of drones, just I guess. Because this drone moves in the hatchery, the hatchery is producing larva, and this larva is probably made into a drone. So, yeah, this one drone will produce a lot of drones. Mm -hmm. And this drone will enable this drone to make a lot of circlings. Nice. Okay, so. Orbital command finishes. Uh, will we see a second Reaper or not? Uh, it looks like we won't see a second Reaper, so... Ooh. Could be the... The Hellbat opening again, which can win games. Uh, but in the last time when I played those games, uh, it was just a nice push and scout. Uh, it put me back with my with my upgrades and tech a little bit and most of the time it didn't deal too much damage but it was viable and it's it's okay we can win games so there are six circlings out that's a lot I guess with four circlings you would be fine as well and six is just uh, a bit uh, safer approach here so yeah that's that's totally fine uh, the queens are popping the inject should go on Come on, there we go, the spitting has begun, and uh, the reaper just confirms that there was no gas taken, oh wow. So with that, uh, with that knowing, I wonder if we will see the, oh there we go, third command center, yeah. I, I already thought so, because a no gas opening is most likely roaches. Doesn't have to be, but most likely it is roaches. So uh, with the helmets, I can't do too much damage. Ooh, did I see both gases? Yes, so that's fine. That's that's fine. That's good for me. Uh, the overload pokes in will spot the third command center. Uh, will die, but also sees the starboard. Doesn't know about the gases taken, so he doesn't know. If it is a banshee with cloak or anything else. Yeah. Mm, and for now it looks like it could be a banshee. There are the hellions being produced. Two at a time and there's the banshee most likely. Come on. Maybe not. Ah, uh, supply depot first. Okay. And then the banshee. Yeah, that's fine. I guess it's fine. Uh, third base under construction already. 
uh, started at roughly 6.30 which is okay and there we have the lair morphing of the hive it's the lair and two more evolution chambers and uh, I was told that that normally means it's the 1-1-1 timing because we have the lair we have the very early uh, evolution chambers there's the roach one as well we have the hatchery mm, but I don't know if you need for the plus one plus one timing three gases or not uh, I don't know if two gases are enough Ooh, good focus fire on the Hellion, but might lose a queen there in return. Uh, slow circlings are coming, and now I know okay, it's not speedlings, so most likely uh, Mutalisk or Roaches. And it's the 1 1, as it looks like. It looks like you have enough gas for enough Roaches and the 1 1. Oh, he could attack the Banji, but instead he goes back to the spore, decides to take a lot of damage, and probably lose the queen. For nothing there, the Hellion survives for now. Slow circlings. Oh, will he get the Hellion? <laughs> 2 HP, so close. Uh, the income, let's have a look at the income. Uh, it's looking quite even. So he's getting a roach speed as well. But where are his roaches? He's not producing any roaches. Normally you, you want to produce a lot of roaches at that time. And he got some larva left, so... But for now he's just droning. Mm, the queen can take down that banshee because it's uh, quite damaged already. Uh, I wonder why I only went for four hellions. There are eight hellions on the map. Ah, there are the other four, okay. Uh, Alright. Uh, now the roaches are coming out, but... The timing is missed now. This, this timing won't hit. It's too late with too few roaches. Uh, you can hit. Oh, nice with the overseer. You can hit with the 1 1 roach timing, I guess, with 30 roaches at the 11 minute mark or 10 30. I'm not quite sure, uh, but something like that. It's super powerful, very strong, and it hits very early. So the Hellions are just poking around, they will see the roaches and have to back off, ooh! Uh, do we see, okay there's a baneling nest, so roach bane, very interesting, not very powerful in my opinion, because you're super vulnerable to drops, um, uh, it's not very cost effective I would say, it's, it's difficult, yes versus marines it's okay, but uh, versus marauder and because of the roaches you're most likely to face a lot of marauders. It's, Difficult. Oh, playing super safe with the bunkers. So what I could do now with the Hellions is and the Banji and some Marines. If I if I would have gotten the starport up already, oh, I'm super heavily supply cap. That's not good. I could drop right here with two medivacs and or for example, I see the roaches moving out. So that's the perfect time with the Hellions. Where are they? Oh. Transformed into hell, but that's nice for the defense. But I also could have gone for the mineral line. Look at that. So many points. But he's going in here, going for the first bunker. We'll get it immediately. There's a second one. Uh, the Banshee dealing a lot of damage. And oh, he backs off. So this Helbert will most likely die. Uh, he's breaking through the wall here. Oh, my reaction so slow. But he's running into the Helbert, taking a lot of splash damage. But with good focus fire, he kills all of them. Uh, Stim is finished. The bunker. Ooh. Uh, I guess it's a quite quite a solid defense there. If you look at the lost tab, it's super equal, super easy. But income wise, I'm looking very good here. So yeah, that defense was good. He lost all his roaches. Uh, he traded them away. He for he made supply free for the circlings and the but. Ah, look at the upgrades. I don't like that. The Roach into into Ling Blang Mutalisk. It can be strong, but normally it's just super weak, and that's why you don't play it normally, I would say. And it's a very unusual strategy that just works sometimes. Yes, he forced out a lot of tech labs, so I don't have that many Marines in production. 
but ooh, he's going for the Corruptor. Look at that, instead of the Mutalist. So that's the, I would say the Dark style. I saw it at least from, from Dark. And it was, it was on Vani Research Station where he won with that against, I guess, Maru or Innovation. Some very high level Terran player. It was awesome. I guess it was Maru. And that, those games were really, really good. Because the problem, I guess he didn't went for all the roaches. Uh, instead he went for just Ling Bling and then Corruptor. So he had all the gas free for more banelings. He had like, 10 thrill thousand billion spanelings that was so insane uh, so his 2-2 is just slightly behind mine 2-2 so that's fine the roaches are a nice meat shield but they don't deal too the, the dps is quite low and with weapon speed 2 look at that little roach <clears throat> just spinning a little bit and there are the drops and the corruptor should take out the medivacs before that happens but they are slow so that's that's that problem. Are there the banes? Whoa! And now I can I can uh, trade one by one, and I'm killing quite some drones here. That's that's good. Not that much damage dealt, but maybe I can get the spore. That would help me for later drops, but no, not gonna happen here. Now the income is looking ooh 81 drones. That's what you wanna have a Zerg. 90 would be too much. 72 is the minimum at that stage, I would say. 80 is, is healthy, very healthy. And look at the supply. The supply is looking good for Garitos. So my plus 2 plus 2 will finish soon. I guess I will have the money for 3-3 three, three immediately. Uh, fourth command center is being produced. And wow, I maxed out quite fairly fast here. Marauder at the front, just stimming then. Very smart, I must uh, to say. And clearing all that creep, very important as well. So that was a lot of creep cleared. And now he doesn't have any mutilus for uh, intercept. He just got four corruptor? Six. Six now. Uh, which is enough to take down the medivacs. And marines take it takes them a long time to kill the corruptor. Also the little mines aren't really helpful here, but oh the splash damage is real because he's clumping so much. That's not good, he has to back off. Uh, more creep was cleared. Ooh, a double medivac drop. Flying towards the possible fifth base. Which is normally the fourth base circle they attack. And yeah, there you go. The queen will maybe be taken out. Could be the case here. And as well a lot of creep, I guess. So this will push him completely out of position. Oh, killing the drone. And that would be the perfect time to strike. But for now I'm not really paying attention. The spine crawler, really nice. Ah, oh, perfect. The spine crawler did its job, stalling me out a bit. Uh, buy some time for Garitas to react and take no damage there. Uh, the banelings. Uh, the the thing is, the Marauder are dealing so much damage against the roaches, but the concave is really good there for Garitas, and that's why he wins. Uh, the Thor might get taken out. And now the roaches are quite good against the marines uh, with the bank. Oh, the splash of the middle mines! Oh, -ho -ho! killing so much there. Oh, and the corruptor are expensive. He got so much minerals and gas. I guess his injects aren't the best. And uh, there's a queen missing. Yeah, he needs a macro edge. Oh, he might be able to kill the command center there. Ah, uh, the two. Re Look at that. Two marine. Uh, two SCVs repairing that. It's burning down. Oh, he doesn't finish it. The marines are quite heavily injured there, and where's my army? Non-existent. There's a tank and a bunker, which is nice. Look at the production. Oh, <laughs> so many starports. Uh, I guess because I thought it could be uh, the brute lords, which is exactly what he's doing, but also ultralisks. So he can. Oh, uh, the little mines. So many of them. Ooh. So many little mines. Yeah, Ultralis and Brute Lord, super expensive, but also super late game. And we are late game, but he needs a fifth base. He needs the gas. Uh, that's very important, I would say. And uh, additional command center for me, because I got the money. Uh, there's another tank. Oh, I like that tank a lot. Yeah. Uh, that tank would be better right here next to the turret, I guess. But hey, it's fine. There's a drop. Oh god. Oh, gets completely destroyed here. 
Uh, Rekus killed just 11 to 1. Unit lost half, fairly even so. Uh, game slowed down a little bit, there's another drop not doing too much there. And the Vidomines aren't that useful against Ultralis, although they are really good against the Bailings and the Circlings. How many Marauder do I have? 15! That's the problem with going for Roaches. You pump out, you, you force your opponent to pump out a lot of... Oh, that was very good! 3 base for 3 Vidomines. And there's the engagement, but there are a lot of Vidomines! They all trigger on the Circlings, uh, but the SimCity... Ah, okay, he goes back, and now... If he lets the engineering base finish, then the, the, the ultralists are completely useless because they can't sneak through. It's not enough space and they will derp around so they won't attack anything because they want to attack the units behind the, the e-base, so the bio. What I wanted to say is the ultralists, uh, if you go for the roach bane, you force your opponent to go for a lot of marauder normally. And then the switch, ooh, losing the medivac is not good. The switch into ultralists is not that good because your opponent already got a lot of Marauder and they are in Heart of the Swarm. A good counter to Ultralis. In Legacy of the Void you can completely forget them because they got nerfed and the Ultralis buffed so screw that. But in Heart of the Swarm Marauder are very powerful. Very powerful. And the SimCity is ready. e base they got a lot of health. Especially uh, with the turn building armor they are quite good. Uh, yeah. There we go. Uh, I don't know why this mm, SUV is attacking as well. But the only thing which uh, Garitos was able to do is secure himself to get safe into the mid uh, late game somehow, some way with his uh, strategy. Which is nice, that is good because that is what a lot of Zerg probably uh, have trouble with or struggle to get safe to the 3 3 upgrades and the late game composition. But now, oh no, all the Widow Mines! <laughs> oh, but he explodes all of them with the Bailing, so that was that was nice, but he loses this base. Uh, the scan reveals all the Brute Lords, and the Marauder have no chance here, so I will have to pick them up, all of them, and go for a drop, and now he does the mistake. Uh, he got a drop here, which will clear a lot of stuff. And he is chasing speed medivacs with ultra uh, risks and brute lords. So what you should do is kill this base, kill it, go for it. Your your brute lords are too slow. Uh, he loses the ultra list cavern. He might also lose. Oh god, he loses all the tech structures. This oh god, no. He loses the great spire. So no more brute lords for you. No upgrades. He loses the pool as well, and he could lose the bailing nest there. Oh, does he lose the Bailing Nest? Not for now, but he can't produce any Circlings, so his Circlings, the 25, are the only one he got, so... Uh. And the problem is, for him, I was a 3 star put already, because I, I thought, because of the Corruptor, he's going for Brute Lord, so I added them, I guess, that was the thinking behind that. And now I hired enough time to go for the Vikings, and that's not looking good for him at all. He has to rebuild all the US tech structures. He got the money, but the time is the problem. Still, the, uh, the supplies are quite even, but look at the brute lords. They are just moving left to right, and that's not how you want to use them. You want to have them siege your base, kill everything, you damage over time constantly. Because that's what they are good for. The DPS isn't that high, but over time, they are like Tempests. Not that good, but still the Zerg version of them and he will lose all of them. Look at that, they are so far out of position, dealing no damage. The Ultralists with the Roaches get kited by the Marauder and the Marines. Uh, just one little Ultralist left. There's still the one tank. Got seven kills, I wonder where those kills came from. And with the Planetary Fortress and that position, narrowing down there, it's just too good of a positional play there. Uh, the eBay will go down, but yeah, that, that doesn't matter. He's on 89 drones! Are you kidding me? Wow! That's... that's... wow. Uh-oh. <laughs> Almost lost all the medivacs there. Oh, landing the Vikings when the Corruptor pop out. Well, yeah, okay. But the Vikings, they have quite some good DPS. It's not the most amazing, but it's good. Uh, I will take, finally, another base. He got all the bases. 
all the money he needs, all the drones, but his unit composition and play overall isn't too good there, Garitos. He's fighting an uphill battle here. Oh, the Widow Mines will recharge soon. Not that, not that it matters, but oh, yeah. he loses everything there. And his army supply is very bad. He got too many worker and way too few units army wise there. So yeah, the Vikings now can kill all the overlords if I find them. And there they are. If I kill all the overlords, he can't produce anything. And then that's checkmate. And that's what the Vikings are doing. Hunting overlords left and right. Ooh, the Vidomite's dealing quite some good damage here to the Altolist. And yeah, without any support, the Altolists aren't that great. They aren't that great. So, oh, the Vidal Mines! <laughs> Fireworks, man! And now I found the, uh, the Overlords. And I guess with that, look at the supply. The income is still good for him. It's very good for him, but it doesn't matter. He can't clear this army. Oh, the Vidal Mines. Oh, double kill! And yeah, now he loses all the overlords. And now he got money but can't produce anything. That's checkmate, that's GG. He should tap out soon. He's going for the Hydra list then now. I what? But you can't produce anything. He's producing overlords, but Yeah. Gary Toss, you lost that. I'm so sorry. Oh learning the Vikings, killing the Queen. And the bailing nest. And the Hydralist then. Ooh, I'm losing Vikings to those Brutlings. Oh my god, there's three. I lost three Vikings to those Brutlings because of the Focus Fire. Oh, will I get the Infestation Pit? Uh, not in time. Not in time. Yeah, a very good game indeed. Oh, blocking that one. Oh, so many drones. Imagine two Widow Mines being dropped here. Mwah. Oh, there are the Widow Mines! Ah, oh, so many drones! <laughs> He's losing all those drones! That's not good for him at all. Uh. Oh, Widow Mines! Ooh, not the best shot, but does it even matter? I guess not. You should be down and out. There we go. GG! What a game, very nice. I like. Oh yeah, Infestor would have been awesome in that game, I guess. But he skipped them for some reason, which is sad. With them and good fungals, he could have won, I guess. Look at the guess. So yeah, going to cast another game. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I wish you a very nice day and goodbye.